Good morning, Lemfem. So I am in front of like the vet clinic where I needed to be with Yuki. And uh, whew, I am so happy that I'm here. I had a lot of stress and I only slept for a few hours. I kept stressing out over things. I'll talk about that later. But first I'm going to go in with Yuki. It is still like a little bit dark outside and it is let's see it's 8 28 uh, a.m right now uh, i feel so sad for doing it like he is it doesn't look like as if there's anything wrong with him and still he has to go inside and they have to operate on him and uh, i was blaming myself for it a lot again tonight um and i also i missed sui and stuff like a lot of stuff and um i'll talk about it later <laughs> but first let's go in his appointment is scheduled in five six seven minutes so let's go yuki what do you think about it i hope he doesn't remember where we're going but um yeah Hey Lamfem, so I found myself a spot near like the veterinary, vet, veterinary, veterinary, near like the animal doctor, vet. <laughs> I went to bed really, really late at not night. It was already morning, but I had trouble sleeping. I was, I was so stressed about driving here. I don't know. Like I do have my driver's license since I am 18. Like it's legally okay to get your driver's license when you're 18 over here in the Netherlands. At least when I was 18, it was. Now you can start at 16, I believe. At the time I had this job, that was the first like normal paying job that I had. And the first thing that I did was buying myself a laptop buying myself like my uh, driver's license because that costs a lot of money over here you cannot be taught by your sibling or parent or niece or nephew whatever you have to be taught by someone that sells their lessons oh my god those lessons are so expensive so i spent a pretty big amount of like all the savings that i had made from that job i spent into being more independent so yeah i have my driver's license for about like what is it 10 11 12 years now and i like i I'm okay with driving but sometimes I do still have these episodes where I'm super anxious to drive that just really depends on the mood where I'm in like at that moment and like normally I would have a lot of anxiety getting into the car and driving when I was younger when I just got my driver's license but I still I, I pushed through it because I knew like if I don't get my driver's license I like I'm nowhere I, I want to feel independent I want to be able to do things on my own and that's one of the best decisions that I've ever made because the freedom that a car has given Given me i am so grateful for this car and just the fact that i was able to do it and um very very happy with it but sometimes i still get very anxious when i'm in the car and tonight or well this morning it was one of those days so i drove to here and i do have some tips if you have anxiety in the car too like the world is not going to change for you. You have to make changes to be able to do the things that you love. Because if you don't, like, of course you can choose to to avoid the things that you, like, that make you anxious. But the best way to get over it is just, like, doing it. And you can find different kinds of ways to help yourself with the anxiety that some things bring to you. If you are anxious about doing so, you can just... That's so cute. You are a good person, mister. <laughs> Okay, that really, really made my day. There was this uh, person going like by on his bike and he stopped right in front of my car and I was like, huh, what are you doing? And he just bent down and grabbed this little tin can and um, strapped it onto his bike. He probably is going to take it to a, a like, a Oh my god, what's the word? Like a trash can. That really made my day. That really warms my heart. People just picking up trash because they don't have to, but just because they see it and they're like, I have to clean that. I really, really admire that. Thank you, mister, for making my day. Um, what I was saying, yeah, I'm going to this store and I know that I have trouble going to that store. I can avoid going to the store, but like what should i do like lay in my bed all day do nothing i have done that too many days of my life during like whatever so i i just go to the store and i find ways to make it more bearable for me because i know that i get overstimulated like pretty easily so i take my headphones or i go like on times where it isn't that busy stuff like that so when i am in the car some things that really help me which is very funny like look I am still using CDs. I know I'm ancient, but um, as you can see, like on the disc, it says like MP3 CD 15. It says March 2013, everything, a little bit of everything says it, does it say. 
is what it says. So I made this in like 10 years ago. This is a disc that I burned myself on my the laptop that I just talked to you about because it had a CD burner and oh my god I was aesthetic. No, not aesthetic. I was, you know, I was like through the moon for having like the ability to make my own, like burn my own CDs. These are things like that really call me. So I was in the car this morning. Hey, shh, Katy Perry. I say shh. But I was in the car this morning and it was raining, like it was dark, which I do not like. It was raining pretty heavily, which I don't like. I hate driving in a mental state where I'm super, super anxious. So something that really helps me is definitely, like I make my own CDs, which is music that to me feels familiar. And so I just sing to the songs, I sing with them, along with them. It just really makes me able to f not focus on the things that I'm thinking and really being able to focus on just not too much just singing my music and focusing on the road instead of like constantly thinking about like the whole entire universe and all these thoughts that are really really not helping while I'm driving. Another thing that really helps me I was driving with my google maps open because I don't go here that often and something that also really helps me is to turn down the volume. Turn down for what? <laughs> Oh my god, I'm really relieved. Do you notice? I'm super energized because I'm just all the stress is just flowing out. This is like my energy moment. And then when I'm back home, because I have to drive home too, I'm just like break down into my bed sleeping for hours on end. I already know. But yeah, I turned down the volume of my Google Maps assistant person because like every time it, it is so much information. I just see this line and I just go where the line goes. Just really, really basic. I just sing my music. I go where the line tells me to go. And for the rest, I just focus on the road because having anxiety, being anxious while driving, it's really like, it's not fun. And if I was able to just skip this appointment, I would definitely have skipped it because I don't feel safe and also like tonight I was I was just laying awake in my bed unable to sleep and I was just these things I was like oh my god I don't like ugh, I don't want to drive I don't want to endanger people because if I'm going to go in the car and I, I feel like this and I haven't slept that much and I, I was just anxious and I I think that's one of the reasons why I had that much trouble sleeping in the first place so you know like it may seem like I, I did like I did a lot of fighting for getting where I am right now with having my own house or not my own house but renting my own place getting to a place where I'm able to have a car and going to I don't know how many thrift stores to get together my whole household like a couch and a coffee table and just everything what I'm going to do. I am here. I probably will have to wait for a few hours. By the way, the assistant that took care of my cat. Oh my god, he was so cute. Yeah, he had this full beard, long hair. Oh my god, long hair and a beard. Mm -hmm. And he was also really nice. His energy was really sparkly, really... I, I really... Uh, he, he also made my day by just being him at like fucking 8 45 a.m what i do want to do i have taken some things with me because i went to this store the last time that i went i was just like you know i just am going to buy everything that i think i need and then i will like return the things that i don't need so i have some things that i am going to return because i don't need them so let's go to that store it's a little walk but uh, that's okay it's free parking over here and also i could really use something to use up my energy my stress relief that i just had after driving over here okay so this is crazy but a few few months ago, like 40 pounds ago, 37 pounds ago, I would not have been able to do this because it would stress me out just to walk a little tiny bit. Look, there is a little bakery. It's so cute. The little cute house. Bird's nest. Do you see it? Okay, so that's really cool. I think it's a water tower. Let's zoom in. Ah, the lighting is a little bit meh, but you can see it. Okay, so yay, I found the store. Let's go in. So they have all kinds of containers, really, really cute, but yeah, don't really need them. Like I, I try to not buy anything so that I'm like, am I going to use them? Not really. Okay, let's not get them. I, I don't like stuff to be too cluttered. So yeah, let's just skip all that stuff. Lots and lots of baskets and stuff. When I used to have pet rats, I would definitely have bought some of this because my rats really loved laying in these little baskets. It was so, so cute. Okay, so rugs, you cannot pass rugs without like touching them. <laughs> I know, bad habit, but they're so soft. If I had no cats, I would definitely buy something like this, like really fluffy and stuff. But with cats, that's like a no-go. Oh my god, seriously? So it is January 5th. Look at what they do sell already. 
<laughs> it's Easter stuff. Oh my god, we were just celebrating like New Year's Eve a few days back. And this is all the Easter stuff, including lots and lots of candy and stuff. Like really, it's cute, but come on. Okay, so that one's pretty cute. Some egg painting sets. Don't worry, these are just fake eggs because they are not going to last until like Easter. I am wondering though, like, is this stuff that they got in their store and just put it in or is, is this stuff like from last year? Let's check the good until date. Okay, so this should not be possible because it says XP, I think it's expire, 30-11-2022. Okay, so let's be fair, I did check some other things and those are all good. So I think that's just a mistake. I will definitely let them know about that because I think they even can get a fine because of that. So I'm just going to tell them. Of course, some stuff for Valentine's Day. It's not that much, but they do have some. Oh man, if I would drink tea out of this cup, I would be 500 pounds in no time. Like, look at it. Every time you look at it, it's like, oh my god, I want a donut. Yeah, nope. Something that's also really funny, like, look at it. I saw this bottle, so now it's full. And then when you flip it over, it's like empty. That's really, really clever. I am going to put it back though, because I don't have any dolls, but really cute. Apparently there is this little park right here, so let's let's go in. Let's see what this is. Ooh, great acoustics. So what's this? Maybe to donate some money, like in the early days? I have no idea. And then here's another one, and this one, I think they just closed it. I have no idea what this is. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, this is, uh, this is definitely to give some money to the church, but I don't think it's used anymore. But in the old days they probably would use this just to collect donations oh i thought it was a park but it's a cemetery okay so it says here that these collection thingies are meant for three types of poor people in the 19th century and that the care of like the poor people was not taken care of by like the state and so all these villages i think it was a village back then they took care of their own poor people and they collected donations in these boxes Okay, so this is the water tower and the plague that's on there, it says... It doesn't say much, it does say that the water pipes are from a company owned by Utrecht, which I think maybe you could know as Utrecht. I have heard people uh, pronounce it that way. But this plague is put up on here in 1896, so this tower is pretty old too, I guess. And it might be a lot older, but that's when the plague was placed. Also, like, as you can see, there's a church over there. I really like churches, so maybe I'm going to visit it. So that building is called the citadel game of thrones spillover so this is a cute little music store cello and keyboard and i have no idea what that thing is okay so this is a pretty good shot of the church or well it's not that good but it's better than the last one okay so that's a really cute colorful doormat i found the second hand store let's take a look maybe they do have something fun i really like stores like these because sometimes you find those things that you're like how on earth like what's the story behind this item it's really really interesting okay so they have set everything up so so neat like the person who's responsible for this place really likes to tidy things up I love it. Random witch's hat, which is super funny. Like it's a Halloween item, but it's so funny. Okay, they even have fitting rooms and everything. Really, really neat. They even have like a coffee suspenser, which is free to take. I really like that. Normally it's, it's so cluttered and stuff, but this is uh, really cool. They even have a table with like a lamp on top. I don't think it works, but oh my God. They really even created a space for people to just read their books. I'm really astonished. This is so cool. And of course, lots and lots and lots of books. Also, by the way, all organized in like, this is books for studying. We have like sports and outdoor stuff. Like this is so organized. They also have lots and lots of DVDs, which are only like one euro and 25 cents. I have seen this one, yeah, it was funny. But also like all my chick flicks are here. Like Raise Your Voice, Perfect Men, Sydney White, Step Up, A Cinderella Story, Bring It On, and so much more. Again, everything organized to the point. Wow. They even have some VHS tapes like 101 Dalmatians and any that's so cool even some blu-ray stuff like the crudes oh my god I can't I, I have to put it back like super neat again wait <laughs> let me organize that with two hands okay better and they also like they set up different kinds of like living room areas where you can just see all the stuff that they sell really really cool I have seen this before though but like organized to this point I haven't 
I'm really really surprised and impressed actually. And then just like the reading area, they also have this area where you can drink some tea, some coffee. Like I said, everything is free. They even have some nuts, some candy and stuff. Really, really cool. I keep saying it, but it really is super cool. Also like look at this shisha thing. Look at this chair with like the lions. I think it's lions. Also like look at this part. It's also lions. A true Lannister chair. So let's head to my car. I am um, dead pretty much, like not so much physically. I have to say physically a little tiny bit. I do feel my back, but yeah, that's normal, I guess, for my weight. Like, look at me walking. <laughs> I'm still super big, but I am super happy with the progress that I made, but I'm going to head back to my car. I did bring my Nintendo Switch, so let's play some more Zelda until they call me to tell me Yuki is ready. Oh my god, I really love that plushie. All these vibrant colors, like I really have to say it's so, I don't know, like it's rainy and stuff, but still everyone has their stuff outside. Like really really inviting okay so that bird right there that's some bird that you do not see here often but i really have to take care if it poops on my head i'm done for we call this like a flemish bird i don't know how you call it over there maybe a mockingjay this is pretty random but i came across this store with all these like four wheelers i guess dirt cars i don't know how you call these things but Really, really cool. Like a whole store full of them. By the way, also take a look at the houses here. They're so pretty. Like this one and then that one. Really, really pretty. This one is really cute too. And then the ones at the corner of the street, they seem like the biggest of all. Okay, so I am back in the car and I want to show you what I bought. But before doing that, I'm first going to transfer some money from my saving accounts to my normal account because I want to be able to pay for Yuki's surgery. And the surgery, oh my God, I have saved money over the past three years. And I wasn't able to save much because I had not much income. But what I had and what I could save, I did save. And all the things things with Stewie like his echo going to a specialist and then all the stuff that happened with Yuki almost all of my savings are just gone so mm, that's not really nice but it's okay I, I don't mind it's too much to pay for that also like I don't really care too much about money it's just you know when I have enough to buy myself some clothes every now and then and when I have enough to support myself to buy food and stuff it's okay with me I've always lived like that but I have to say like I do earn a little bit more now with YouTube and it does really, like money doesn't make a person happy, but it really does help with like being more positive to be able to do nice things and to buy nice stuff. Like I come from a family that never had like a lot of money. We were always kind of poor. And this is like a really cool experience to have some money to spend on some stuff. I'm going to show you what I bought. These are all things that I needed that were on my list and some things that I saw and I was like, hmm, I could really use that. I bought this case. It's for your Nintendo Switch. I just saw it and I was like, hmm, that's a good thing to buy because like I have taken my Nintendo Switch with me as I told you earlier, but right now, as you see over there, to protect it, I just wrapped it in this pillowcase. Um, yeah, it's it's okay, but having a case for your Nintendo Switch, it's, it's way co more convenient. So I did buy that so that I can put my Switch in. I have this controller, so I have to think about that, but we'll see. I bought these things just to put some pens and stuff in it, to put it on my desk. I do have some pens and stuff that I store now in my cup, but I really want to use my cup for drinking tea and coffee and stuff and not for storing stuff so I was like let's just buy this thing especially made for like holding pens and stuff so this is going to go on my desk then a really really much needed USB hub because my computer only has like two openings and sometimes I have to use three or four so I bought this USB hub it's oh my god this is going to be a lifesaver for me then I bought three of these pairs with a USB to USB-C connector thingies like my camera my phone the Nintendo switch they all run at like the USB-C cable and these cables I don't know like they last me about it's different per kind to be honest like I had one that lasted me for one and a half year and then it broke yeah I also have one in the car by the way like the blue wire thingy but these things like I really cannot have enough of them last weekend one of them broke again so I went to my car and I took like my other like this wire thingy out but I really needed some new ones and I was like let's just buy three because I do need them a lot also for editing and stuff so if one breaks I am pretty much fucked so let's let's buy some 
then I bought some scissors. I really needed them too. I do have some scissors, but like I have one in my shower area because of like every time that I almost empty out a bottle, I just cut it open so that I'm able to use like the last bit of it. So that's where one of my scissors went. I have one in like my artsy stuff uh, box and I have one in my kitchen and I also really wanted one for in my studio area because I sometimes wrap things there like presents and stuff like that. And also like when I'm in the kitchen, I often just put these things in the sink for them to be washed and so like I do have a spare one so that I don't have to clean like the whole thing before being able to use it and then lastly I bought three of these spoons there's like a hair on it oh my god that was not a good move now there's even more hairs whatever i will wash them at home but i bought three of these things because the ones that i do have now they have like a metal holder there's some rust on it i have been thinking about buying new ones for over i think two years it's something that i always forget and i don't want to buy these ones because you can take it off but i was like you know everything is better than my rusty ones that i do have right now so let's just buy these then lastly i bought this tape holder i do have a tape holder and it broke so i needed a new one and instead of like buying the plastic one that I had I just bought this like more official one it was about one euro and 80 cents I think really really cheap but I just it's it's pretty heavy and big and I like that it's really easy to use yeah also to go in the office and that's everything that I bought so I just got cold. I can get Yuki in like 40 minutes so I'm just going to wait a little bit and then I'm going to grab him and drive home Hello MFM, so I am home. Yuki is eating some food. It's his second meal actually because it is evening right now. For myself, I'm just going to eat the same thing as I did yesterday, but today I'm going to pair it with some rice instead of like nothing. So this is 60 grams of rice, as in 60 grams of like uh, dry rice, so I don't know how much it does weigh now. But this is what I'm going to eat. I'm just going to mash it all up and um, yeah, that's it. So bon appetit! It's smacklick. Oh my god, it's it's so warm. It's it's hot actually. Mm, let me figure something out. Okay, so <laughs> bon appetit. You're the night sky trying to make me see your stars. The dark gets in 